Welcome back, folks. Time to add a little cocoa to your life or your coffee or whatever you're drinking right now, folks. It is a Thursday. You can drink what you want. Our next guest calls herself One Funny Mama. She's best known for her stand-up acts and role as Jennifer in the sitcom Tyler Perry's For Better or Worse. Please welcome to the show this weekend, Coco Brown performing at the Comedy Club of Jacksonville. Hey, how you doing? Welcome to the, welcome to the show, Thank you Coco. for having me, darling. Pleasure, Thank you for having pleasure me. to see you. <laughs> um, you're in town, uh, obviously, for the Comedy Club of Jacksonville. Yes, uh-huh. And you got show starting tonight? Starting tonight through Saturday. So one show tonight, two shows Friday, two shows Saturday. Um, but you also... Uh, besides being on First Coast Living right now, today uh, mm -hmm. you're going to be with the chat. Yeah, right? I'm going to be hanging out with the chat. Is this that is today or is it tomorrow? It's, it's today. Today, yeah. With yeah, the chat. I think at three o'clock. I'm, I'm having a ball. Yes, um, this cool. is my thing. I think you know, I'm, I'm I'm doing the talk show thing. I've been doing the circuit lately. Yeah. You know, with all the different talk shows. I don't know. Maybe this is my next my next venture. Oh, uh, it's easy. <laughs> it, uh, you you would you would handle it very easily. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> so the, the comedy tour we we're talking about. Uh, a lot of times the comedy comedians come through and ask, you know, you're doing so much other stuff. You've done movies, you've done TV. Yeah. yeah. So the comedy clubs, a lot of people are like, why would, why would you still be doing comedy clubs? Because it's, it's, it's therapy. I mean, most comedians, we're not wrapped too tight. You know, we're a little off. <laughs> so we need that therapy. And a lot of us can't afford that $400 an hour to sit <laughs> on somebody's couch. So, you know, the audience becomes our therapist. They yeah. get all of that issues right there and once we get it out of us we're like huh who's yeah. we feel better now so yeah for me it's therapy it's cathartic a absolutely yeah. absolutely and i get paid to, you know give you my problems wow that's awesome <laughs> so so how i and that's that's uh you, you're, you're bringing your real life to the, to the stage a lot. Absolutely. I tell people I don't tell jokes. I tell the truth. Whatever I'm going through in my life somehow ends up on that stage. But it's funny because there's always a good majority of that crowd that's going through the exact same thing yep. in some way, shape, or form. So it works, you know. And then once I get it out, you know, I'm like, okay, I'm good now. You know, yes, take the razor blade away from me. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How do the people see? I always wonder, you know, because my my beautiful wife Jasmine uh, okay. watches, and, I, and I, I talk I talk about her a lot. But I, I don't. There's comedians that bring their personal life in, like Mitch Patel. Mm -hmm. uh, he's been on the show with us. He is very open about his whole his sex life, everything in his yeah. relationship. How do you? Are there any family members or, or people in your life that, that after are like, why are you telling people about that? Oh, my parents. I tell people all the time that it's just certain things I can't do on the screen yet because my parents are still living. <laughs> you know, it's like I've got, you know, those two, you know, my parents are straight, you know, Bible thumping Baptists, you know, yeah. I'm almost a PK, a preacher's kid, you know, and it's like certain things I can't say, but, you know, they're getting to the point that they're losing their hearing, so I'll be saying a lot more, Did you, you know. So do you have, <laughs> like on some of your movies and stuff, do you tell them, hey, um, mom, dad, uh, don't go watch this one? No, I just tell them that I was paid a lot, a lot of money, and then I send them on a cruise. Send yeah. them on a cruise? Because <laughs> uh, I was wondering, like, Ted 2 might not be one for the folks. My parents never saw that one, which okay. was good. Some movies they would never go see. My dad's like a teddy bear talking. That's for the kids. It sure is, daddy. <laughs> You're absolutely right. <laughs> uh, Working with Tyler Perry, though, what, uh, what's that That's like? That's been an amazing run. It was an amazing run. Six seasons, over 170 episodes. I mean, it was like being like with family every year. It was bittersweet, but, you know, everybody has to move on, onward and upward. Yeah. Everybody's doing their own thing now. And, you know, we're still, we still talk every week. I talk to somebody from that cast. So um, it was a great run. And watching him and watching him, what he does, it was like a master class for the last six years, let yeah. me tell you. Yeah, it's, it's one of those that you look at, you look at Tyler Perry and then... He's uh, got clones. If you you put yeah if you put his thing mm -hmm. here and you put the his his reach and what he's affected in the seriously people, no it's, he's cloned himself he's successfully cloned himself we're convinced yeah it's, it's no way it's amazing yeah but just the people that he's affected and the, the careers he's oh absolutely you know yeah. he's still you know very philanthropic he still gives you know to, you know gives to organizations yeah. and people you know he's a big heart you know good stuff look mm -hmm. for you on the chat today have fun with that i'm gonna have fun oh yeah Appreciate thank it. you darling <laughs> you can check her out Coco Brown tonight through Saturday at the Comedy Club of Jacksonville on Beach Boulevard. Get showtimes and ticket information on jacksonvillecomedy.com.